here in Birmingham, Alabama, it is a packed house where better than 15,000 have jammed into this place for a battle between two legitimate national championship contenders. Number 15, Gonzaga, and number four, Alabama, ready to get it on here in Birmingham. Hi, everyone. So excited to have you with us courtside alongside the great Jim Spinarkle. I'm Spiro Adidas. Jimmy, we have been circling this one on the calendar. We know about Gonzaga, perennial championship contending team out of the WCC, but Alabama making some early noise. Yeah, and Spiro, it's interesting enough, they're both elite programs, and one's a veteran team in Gonzaga, and they'll be really half-court conscious, I think, when they get to those sets to really wear down Alabama defensively. Alabama, on the other hand, a young team, a talented team, a long team. They like to go up and down. Even though Gonzaga likes to go up and down also, I don't think they want to get in a track meet with Alabama here. And you consider what Nate Oates' Crimson Tide have done already, knocking off two number ones, Jimmy, before the new year. Yeah, and the one thing that he really has emphasized to us yesterday when we were speaking to him is the confidence that this team has. They're young, but they've come together. And the primary reason they have come together so quickly is that they're unselfish, they like one another, and then all of a sudden you win a couple of games and things start to gel for you. Already three losses for the Zags but they have played a brutally tough non-conference schedule. Yeah, you don't usually see this early in the season, them having the losses, but you're absolutely right. This is a very difficult schedule. They've played the third hardest strength of schedule in the NCAA, but I think that's going to help them down the road in terms of learning from these mistakes and losses. Meantime, some really elite-level individual performers in this game, and it's an interesting juxtaposition, the upperclassmen for the Zags and yep. some of the youth for Nate Oates in Alabama. Yeah, we do have a couple of very, very good ones, that's for sure. When you look at Timmy on the left, a do-it-all post-up center, one of the best in the country, and really keep an eye on Brandon Miller. He does so many good things on the floor, both at the defensive end, but spectacular at the offensive end. Yeah, Miller, highest scoring freshman in the country. Jimmy, what about our AT&T 5G? fast analysis. So we'll take a look at Miller. He can glide to the basket. He just really is very, very smooth in terms of what he does, but he has great range and he can do it in the transition also. But they love the fact that he's so unselfish. That's one of the reasons this team is very good. Timmy, other on, on the other hand, take a, a look at his post moves. Spiro drops steps, really understands how to get his shot off in traffic. He will be double teamed by Alabama, but keep in mind, he is very, very good at releasing the ball and passing out of the post. Boy, this is gonna be fun. Packed house, standing room only, and oozing talent are both of these two teams, the Zags and the Crimson Tide, next on CBS. CBS Sports College Basketball coverage is sponsored by Buick, the official SUV of the NCAA. Hotels.com, find your perfect somewhere. And by Principal, helping you plan, protect, invest, and retire. Some of the young faces in the house, part of this sellout crowd of better than 15,000, and they are in for a matchup. Mark Few, highest winning percentage among active head coaches. Legendary run that he has had up in Spokane. There's his Gonzaga Bulldogs come in with a record of eight and three. Two national runner-up finishes for Few's Bulldogs over the last five years. A look at how we will start this game. This Alabama team led by Nate Oates, nine and one on the season. They started the same starting five the first nine games of the year, but with the injury now, to Damari Burnett, who is out four to six weeks with that wrist injury. It is Jaden Bradley, another freshman, stepping onto the big stage for the Crimson Tide. But so far, that has been a good thing for Nate Oates and this Alabama team. You just consider, Jim, what he has built in short order in Tuscaloosa, about an hour's drive from where we are here in Birmingham. Of course, succeeded Bobby Hurley at Buffalo and already two NCAA tournament appearances with this school in his first three years. Look at what these two teams, how they approach things. Again, the, the youth of Alabama, Jim, really no team, no marquee team in Division One relies more on their first-year players than Nate Oates. Exactly. When you think of that, too, Spiro, it's, it's you know, he, he has a terrific style of play for Alabama, and you can see why guys, and they had a terrific rooting, uh, recruiting class last year, why guys want to come and play for him. It's a front, fun, open type of play on the floor. You get to shoot the ball from long range. You like to run up and down, so it's a fun way to play basketball. 
And he's a math guy. He which sure is why is. you like him. Yeah, he'll crunch the numbers <laughs> for us. Mark Sears in Alabama control, and we are off and running here in Birmingham.